Hello YouTube! Today is another click click lesson. Number two, we're gonna be doing stuff about the one and only sun, which I guess is over there. I think it's over there, hold on. I can flip the camera. I think it's up, it's over there. It's blocked by the tree. Hold on, let me get a good look of it. Right over there. It's, that's the sun. And I'm going to be doing a lesson on how the sun works. Okay, so first, we're going to be doing the... Okay, so, quick note, um, really quick note, this is all I know about the sun, so if there's anything you want to add to this lesson, you can write it down in the comments below. So, now let's get into it. Okay, so, first, the sun works by, um, nuclear fusion which is not like nuclear fission, which I talked about in my last quick click lesson. The nuclear fusion is when two atoms hit each other at such a fast speed that they combine to form another atom. Like, these two atoms form a helium atom when they, like, like that. And they, um, and that is how the sun basically works, and it creates a lot of heat and energy, and people are working to make a, um, a reactor out of it, in fact. So people are working to make a reactor out of nuclear fusion. So, um, and the, and the sun will explode in a couple million to a couple billion years, so better not be worried about it yet. But also the sun has different things called like solar flares and stuff like that. Solar flares are like, solar flares and stuff are like, um, sort of like little, the sun just, some of its material going off also correct me if I'm wrong but um correct me if I'm wrong about any of this stuff just down in the comments like I said earlier but um now um there also is the thing of the um there's also the um so basically there's also a thing about um I don't know but like, there, there's a huge amount of magnetic fields around it. Like, there's magnetic fields everywhere on the sun. Not just, like, how we have a um, magnetic north pole and south pole. The sun's got them everywhere. Everywhere. And that causes a lot of different things. Like, sometimes, like, you could see the... Um, sometimes in, like, outer space cameras, they can actually see the magnetic fields by, like, light, like, probably plasma from the sun actually on it so you know and the sun's made of plasma which is a very thick liquid that would seem like it's a um it's a solid but it's not so basically um it's plasma just plasma in general and this plasma um sometimes spins in different directions like in like around the center of the sun it could be spinning one way like a center it could be spinning this way but on the top, it could be spinning this way. So it's, and it's really, really slow. And in the center of the sun, it's super, super dense. It would seem as though it's, it would be a solid, but no, it somehow stays as a liquid. And that liquid is called plasma, because, you know, the sun's made of plasma, like I told you. And um, it's very strange. The sun is, and there's different types of suns too. Ours is like a medium type sized sun a medium yellower sun, sort of like this pole, or my mom's car, or, um, you know, you get the idea. But, there's also huge suns that are all red, and there's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's called, um, it's at the top of my head, it's at the top of my head, um, I don't remember it, but, there's small suns that can be smaller and, and and stuff, but there's bigger suns that can be bigger. And I'm pretty sure there's such thing as blue suns too, which looks, which I'm guessing is really really cool. And um, there's some suns, some universes with two suns, others like, you know. And our solar system is fairly lucky because we're in the Goldilocks zone, a perfect area because it's not too far or too close from the sun. So be thankful that the sun is not too close or too far from us, right? And no, and originally people thought that the sun was in the middle of the earth, when in re or was in the, or thought we were in the middle, while the sun was 
rotating around us. And, um, you know, that's very cool. And, um, but they're wrong. And now we're right. Because we know we're orbiting the sun. And there's thousands upon thousands of suns in the world. Or not the world. It would be more like the universe. No, the whole entire, all the universes. If there's such thing as parallel universes. But you get the idea. Hope this informed you. Now, see you on the flip side. Bye. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Doot, doot.